Okay, hello there. Um, this is my first video tutorial ever, uh, so please be kind uh, because my English skills aren't that good uh, as I hope them to be. So, um, in this video, I will try to explain you, uh, how to use a uh, custom shape tool for painting. Um, this is a very cool method uh, to quickly uh, make very detailed images. Uh, so uh, they look very convincing in terms of values and um, shape structure. Uh, so what I will be covering in this, in this video will um, help you create some uh, custom, shaped, custom shapes for your cu custom shape library to use them later uh, in your paintings. Um, possibly I could provide you some, uh, some shapes to start with. But I think the whole process is of, of creating them is very, very fun. So it will be totally interesting to find some photographs uh, with textures you like and just extract uh, cool shapes and uh, stuff from them. Because uh, later on, it doesn't really mean uh, that if you extract some shape from a mountain, uh, that later you will use that shape as a mountain. Um, I want you to treat these custom shapes like a uh, totally abstract thing because while you are using them you are stretching them so much that uh, they these do not really look like uh, their, their original source no more. So uh, these are just starting points for uh, your composition just to throw down very um, strong shapes uh, and values uh, which provide mat material to work with uh, on the very beginning. Uh, so <clears throat> this piece I made yesterday using custom shapes uh, and probably I spent on it, I spent on it uh, something about one hour or, or so. So it's not that time consuming and the effect c can be pleasing to the eye. I, I'm not telling that this piece is pleasing, but you can benefit from all, all these methods. So um, I want to point out that everything I will say is just my opinion and uh, stuff that uh, I got from the other artists. So there's no right or wrong. Um, there are just tools. So this is another tool for you to use. Uh, I don't think any philosophy will come with, uh, with that technique. So just uh, take what you want and apply it to your workflow. Okay, so jumping right into it, um, I found a couple of photos that are interesting uh, in terms of textures. Uh, I also wanted them to vary. Uh, in, terms, in terms of color and stuff. So these are just four photographs, the mountain, some forest stuff, uh, the arc from stone probably. As you can see, these are rather high resolution. Mm, and motorcycle engine. So um, we will try to make a custom shape from that photo. Um, I mean only the part of it because I enjoy really only that rock I want to extract. So um, this is pretty high resolution and in order to um, not to complicate the selection so much I will reduce it to 1000 pixels wide. Because you know later your picture, uh, your uh, shape will be vectorized so it won't be uh, um, loose when you will apply it big so okay so in order to create the selection I will choose quick selection tool uh, but before that we have to get rid of the color and highen up the contrast so there will be only two values inside my picture so I just hit Control U desaturate the whole thing hit Control L and move the sliders so that they will create nice value structure. Uh, 
Okay. And now I can uh, make my selection. I'm just brushing over the area that I want to that I want to select. Okay. And right now I will just choose my magic wand tool and subtract from set that selection holding Alt and clicking on a uh, white selection. Okay. So I have my selection prepared. Let's just go to Paths and click that button, make a work path from selection. It will create my work path. And right now, there is only one button left. We will hit Edit and Define Custom Shape and hit OK. OK, so uh, once I have my uh, custom, shape, uh, uh, custom shape defined, I will go to my Custom Shape which is under the U, and the panel will appear, so make sure to uh, set the mode to pixels, and just choose your shape, and we will just test it out, um, take some black, and just stretch it over your canvas, so as you can see, um, while we are painting with it, we are changing uh, these uh, proportions of it, and that's the whole magic. We can create very very nice things with that. Okay, so what I've basically done is uh, I've sped up the video a little bit, so uh, this is basically the same process uh, applied to four different photos, looking for four different textures. Um, Right now I'm focusing on uh, finding some uh, cool organic uh, looking shapes uh, from these trees. They will probably serve as a ground plane. Mm, yeah, this is the arc. I will try to extract some cool uh, stone uh, texture from, from it, maybe to uh, create some mountain uh, environments very quickly. Uh, just playing around with my wand tool uh, and feathering out with a quick selection tool. Yeah, so another shape is created. Let's move to another one, the last one. This is the engine, uh, so it will be the most hard surface from our shapes. Um, yeah, uh, we are looking for these white areas to being uh, subtracted from my uh, whole selection, so um, again feathering out and we got our selection and our shape. Alright, so uh, this will be a short demonstration of how can you uh, use your um, custom shapes very effectively. Uh, we have only four shapes or so uh, that we have created in this tutorial, so we will try to use them uh, to create some kind of interesting looking composition. Uh, first, I have set up a perspective grid in this cool program made by Epic Games, with, which is called Carapace. Um, I will provide the link to it uh, in the video's des description. So, as you can see, uh, as I am applying a new shape, uh, I have to stretch it later to up, up, applying it to my perspective grid so it sits in perspective. Um, also remember about um, flipping your canvas horizontally and do that very often uh, because when you're applying your shape um, your shape is being applied the same way every time. So uh, you, can, you cannot rotate it until you make a selection and uh, free transform it. Uh, as you can see, I'm just pl uh, placing these custom shapes around uh, using my soft brush to uh, create some uh, aerial pers perspective, uh, just to give a feeling of a, s of a space. 
uh, yeah, just putting a little figure melder to um, provide a scale reference. And as you, as you can see, this is happening very fast. Uh, the whole uh, process for that we can call it thumbnail took me about uh, 20 minutes. So it's very fun to do because um, you can surprise yourself with uh, interesting stuff you can come up with. So it's really very fun to do and very explorative. Um, you can also uh, add color to it as you as you go, so um, it can be even more interesting to find out different shapes and play around with color with your shapes. Uh, still beckoning stuff up with my soft brush and um, really focusing on that uh, one to three um, term. I mean foreground, middle ground, background, making some adjustments. Um, yeah, so this is like um, push and pull game. So I am playing shape, beckoning it, beckoning it, it uh, through the perspective and looking for another one to uh, making it uh, more into the foreground than the background. Yeah, so I can just suggest you to play around with your shapes, uh, try to come up with some bold compositions. So start very loosely uh, from the big shapes uh, so that you can um, refine them later and still treat it, treat it very loosely. So it, it's, uh, it's not very um, time consuming to do another one. So you can manage to uh, to do some mistakes even. So I recommend you to do some mistakes with your custom brush because you custom shapes too because uh, you're really um, teaching yourself how to use your, your shapes then. So you will eventually become more effective with your workflow. Okay guys, so that's all. Sorry for my English. I know I'm bad at it. I hope it will. I will improve. Uh, so um, yeah. That's all, and I will probably make another tutorial tutorial about uh, lasso painting um, using lasso tool. So um, yeah, and that will be applied to figure drawing, figure, figure painting. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for coming, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks.